Hello, my beautiful Capricorn friends. Welcome to your 2022 yearly forecast to see what the energy is in this upcoming year. This is a collective reading for all Capricorns, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com, where you will also notice there's a new link to my podcast, Royal Mystic Collective Wisdom. You can click it and get the most recent episode, and you will also be able to follow me on Apple, Alexa, Google, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms. I hope you have a chance to listen to it, and I hope you enjoy it when you do. So here we go. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. Starting off with a big bang here, my Capricorn friends. You've got the energy of very much Archangel Michael with your king, the king of pentacles, which I also call King Midas. So very, very astute in the energy of being financially stable and committed, grounded energy, and the Archangel Michael assisting you all the way. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Ooh, ace of rods. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So your second cut card, Cappies, is the Ace of Rods. That's a gift from divine of action, something passionate that you that you feel very excited about. It is the energy of a new relationship, a new job, some new activity that is proceeding as we speak. So here we go in the energy of January, a lightning strike. The Knight of Swords, very fast moving energy, something coming out of the blue all of a sudden. Usually it precedes other big movement energies. We'll see what happens. Ace of Cups is the energy of divine giving you this fresh new cycle as we begin this energy. It is giving you also the chalice and the Akashic Record information as the all-seeing eye, the Akashic Record, is available to you as well as the DNA of all existence in this cup. So, the Holy Grail coming in in February. March is beckoning you to take a look from higher perspective. This is your crown chakra. Hoisting yourself up into the hangman's position gives you the overview of a bigger picture rather than having your nose right up on the canvas. And April, we have the Eight of Cups. This is a fabulous energy of moving past the obstacles that have been challenging you, any information you needed or learning that had to happen, you are now on the other side of that. And this is a yes from the universe for you to proceed forward. So if you've been feeling like you want to make a move and you feel like you've gone as far as you can where you are, this is a confirmation for you. It's also the moon here showing you the entire horizon, meaning that you can do anything moving any direction as the opportunities are all there and available to you which is wonderful because you've got that Ace of Cups. So you can certainly make some things happen. Here's the Informer, the Page of Swords. He's coming in to give you some information and assist you as you move forward. It can be a conversation, a download of information, or something that you happen to overhear. Uh, it could be from any source, a radio, a television, or an actual conversation happening somewhere else. And we have the Three of Cups. This is the seraphim. They are mighty, mighty earth angels. They're elemental, sulfur, salt, and mercury, alchemical energy of creation. And they're pouring the double dose into your cup as it overflows with divine abundance. Solid energy for June. July, we have the world card where you're lifted up into a higher position and a vortex that is opened up to allow you to move to a new level. This is the energy of the universe conspiring to bring you to your highest achievement yet. And that's the energy of being very happy and empowered that you're standing very proudly in this accomplishment. Now in 
August, that was July, August is the energy of fast-moving communication, negotiation, and new opportunities coming in. Some of you, this may mean air travel, because the Eight of Rods does indicate that. We have September, the Five of Cups. Whatever this has got you down, you can't stay down too long. I know we have to have our processes, and we have to grieve, and we have to get over stuff. Process quickly, my darlings, because you want to be able to seize this opportunity here and get up and get moving the best way to get over something especially if, if so we're i'm in texas so this is an old saying when when you get thrown from the horse you have to get up and get back on even though you don't want to right and you want to make haste because there you are once you get up and clear this energy you're now moving in the right direction sometimes we have to get, get a kick in the pants to get some perspective this is the moment where you now know exactly what you're doing moving forward and you're launching in the right direction following higher guidance. So this moon, again, just like here, is showing you the path forward as it reflects on the light. You don't even need to know the way. You'll be shown the way. That's October. November is the Seven of Wands, which is the energy of stand your ground and don't settle for less than you deserve. Stick to your guns. Don't let anybody talk you out of what you're doing because they don't have a full perspective from your point of view. So stick to it and don't let anybody talk you out of it. Here's an offer from Divine, the Four of Cups. Now you see how he's a little bit tentative about whether he should take that cup or not? As always, vet it make sure it's for you but don't turn it down until you do that you want to make sure you 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 listen fully to what the opportunity is so it does look like it's coming from the hand of divine so that's a good thing and the eight of pentacles garden of eden energy this is where we stand determined to be overcoming any fear of financial uh, lack allowing ourselves to be in the energy of the Garden of Eden. And that's where we stand firm on the belief that the universe is continuously conspiring in our favor, creating abundance from sources known and unknown as we receive exactly what we need, exactly when we need it every single time. This is a mantra that is used in the face of fear as you stand in faith diligently and determined. As you believe, so shall it be done unto you. Five of Pentacles. This is where we start to feel like we're left out in the cold. And we even may start to bargain with the universe <laughs> trying to see if we can do anything to make it happen. It's happening. It's just not visible. So rest assured, no news is good news. Stand strong and allow yourself to keep, the, keep up the good, solid energy of belief. And it shall be done. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Wow. We thank you so, huh? so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, Cappies, you had a whole bunch of cards to jump out. The five of rods was the bottom card, and I'm going to just hold these here on top of my finger, and we'll see how far we get. Five of swords. This is the energy of standing still and let the universe work its magic. This is where that lightning strike is coming in. So you just stand still and let the cavalry do its thing. It's not time to surrender, but you can, you can hold your ground and you don't have to be part of the action. Just stand still and let the universe work its, itself around you. It's the old phrase, be still and know that I am God. That's, the, that's that, that precept. Ace of Cups and the Fool. This is the energy of a new beginning in the way that we all want a new beginning. Any change that comes in with the fool's energy is a exciting, an adventure, a new beginning with a new perspective. It's also a smooth transition into the next chapter without anything shaking you up. This is closing the door to the old, stepping right into the new without missing a beat. 
Now we have soul family energy. That's the energy of people around you who have been through many lifetimes to assist you and work with you and go through all kinds of different challenges, helping each other as you go. So this is in that hanged man energy, higher self connection. The eight of cups, the energy of looking forward to the future. And the wonderful thing is that this tower gets knocked down. So if it's blocking your view or holding you back, which may have been what was holding you here, it is now being demolished so that you can be free to move forward. So anything that has had you in captivity or blocked in is now getting knocked down. We have this little page of swords who's giving you the good news that the struggle is over. The Ten of Rods is here. This is allowing you to go forward, bearing all of this new opportunity and fruit, fruitful work. And sometimes it means working from home because he's taking it toward the castle. But it can mean moving to a new location to work. The struggle is definitely over. The burden is lifted. So we have the Three of Cups here with a, just a slew of abundance pouring, overflowing. Stay in that energy. Stay focused. See how his eyes are closed? And he's not paying attention to the chaos of those boats in the background. And the reason is he can't do anything to save them. He can only put himself at peril if he were to attempt to. So stand firm in receiving your blessings and i'm not saying ignore somebody that's on the side of the road croaking over i'm saying don't let people's drama or the world's drama get your attention and cause your anxiety to cause you to break your focus the world card this is the energy of being very much in a place of standing in a strong position and that's what it's telling you hold your position don't let anybody talk you out of what you're doing because your success does not hinge on their approval eight of wands very fast moving energy lots of communication and another eight of cups so more movement another step forward or huge step forward being guided by divine six of pentacles so whatever this five of cups has you all sad about this is a bonus coming in so something turning out better than you'd hoped or abundance coming in that you didn't expect or, or more abundance than you did expect so we love that six of pentacles is like free money you don't owe anything back look at that you had exactly 12 cards that's the last card and you have two positions left that's so cool so six of swords with the four of swords it's reminding you self-care is important don't burn the candle at both ends continuously or you will run out of juice. This is, this is the way the, 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 the body works. You can keep going as long as you want to, but at some point, your body's, you're either going to stop and recover or your body's going to make you stop. It's going to do something. Your blood pressure's going to shoot up. You're going to trip and fall, twist an ankle, something. Your body will do that. It will cause you to have to sit down. So, and pull your back. You know, just a little something. Nothing major. Just something to make you have to take a minute. Now, you've got this seven of wands. I told you, stand your ground. Don't let anybody. That's what's happening. It's saying, stand your ground even when people don't agree with you. That's that five of rods. It's a small thing, but it matters. Because you are moving in the right direction here. Oh, I didn't. I have one more. Look at that. I thought I had. I forgot about December. There is your Capricorn Queen in your financial abundance and security. And having the beautiful energy of being very grounded and prosperous. Money in hand. So, oh, get up here. Okay, it's not going to stay. <laughs> I'm just not going to. I'm not going to keep trying. So that's the energy of the beautiful flourishing energy that will come in through that cup that's being offered. And then we have the justice card. So the right decision being made either by you or for you. This is the Justice Libra Major Arcana. And that is your reading, my cappies. Many, many blessings to you. Love, light, abundance, divine healing divine prosperity, happiness, joy, and peace to all of you. And I know we are going to have this next year together again. And I am so looking forward to the journey as we move forward once again together, getting through this life day by day, month by month, 
minute by minute sometimes. And we'll do it. We'll just keep going. This is what we're here for, to help each other move through this. Many blessings, my darling, and I will see you soon. Namaste, my friends.